टेबल टॉप आर ओ वॉटर प्यूरिफायर केंट पर्ल स्टेप वन अनपैकिंग ऑफ द प्यूरिफायर टेक आउट ऑल दी एक्सेसरीज फ्रॉम द पैकिंग बॉक्स टेक आउट केंट पर्ल मिनरल आर ओ वॉटर प्यूरिफायर फ्रॉम द पैकिंग बॉक्स केयरफुली प्लेस द वॉटर प्यूरिफायर ऑन द प्लेन सर्फेस रिमूव द थर्मोकॉल पैकिंग Remove the polythene cover from the water purifier. Items in the box. Kent Pearl Mineral RO Water Purifier. 1. Three way connector. 1. SS ball valve. 1. food grid pipe white and blue 3 meters each screws and plastic inserts 2 each instruction manual 1 drilling sticker 1 step 2 setting up the water connection keep all the plumbing accessories and tools ready before turning off the main water supply line so that it gets interrupted for a minimum time turn off the main water supply line always install purifier on the normal water supply and not on the hot water supply take out the tap from water supply line carefully using a pipe wrench This is a three-way connector with an external thread. Use a Teflon tape to create a leak-free joint. It should be wrapped tightly on a three-way connector in a clockwise direction only. Otherwise, it may loosen during tightening on water supply line. Cut off the excess tape. Insert external thread end of the three-way connector into the water supply line. Use Teflon tape on the tap to create a leak-free joint. Now, insert the tap into the hex end of the three-way connector and tighten it using pipe wrench. This is a SS ball valve. Use Teflon tape again on the SS ball valve thread to create a leak-free joint. Insert SS ball valve. into 1 by 4 inches port of the three way connector take the white pipe and broaden up its mouth from one end by inserting a screw driver into it remove the hex nut present on the ss ball valve insert this hex nut in the white pipe from the non broadened end push the broadened end of the white pipe onto the ss ball valve Make sure that pipe completely slips over the nipple of the SS ball valve. Tighten securely the hex nut on the SS ball valve to lock the pipe in its place. The water supply remains off when the lever is perpendicular to the SS ball valve body. The water supply remains on when the lever is parallel to the SS ball valve body. Step 3 making preparations to mount the purifier every purifier has a drilling sticker with measured markings check for the proper horizontal level which should be a plain even surface the drilling sticker should not be pasted inclined as water may overflow stick the drilling sticker in a proper horizontal straight line drill carefully two holes into the sticker markings using 8 mm drill bit drill holes to such a depth that the plastic inserts could go completely inside the hole
push plastic insert into the holes using a hammer. Insert two self-taping screws in both the holes using a screwdriver. Do not use hammer. Step 4. Installing the purifier. Place the purifier on a flat surface. Remove transparent tank tray of the purifier. Remove front transparent tank. Remove mounting plate cover by opening three side screws as well as two bottom screws. Cut the tie wires holding the sediment filter, activated carbon block, RO membrane housing and UV chamber in place. These components are so tied as to save them from getting damaged or dislocated from their position during transportation. Fix the mounting plate cover back. Remove dead plug from rejected water outlet by pressing elbow collet using one hand and pulling the dead plug with the other. Remove dead plug from raw water inlet by pressing elbow collet using one hand and pulling dead plug with the other. Fix one end of the blue pipe into rejected water outlet of water purifier. Push the pipe into the elbow to avoid any leakage. Lead the other end of the blue pipe in the drain. Fix the end not fixed to SS ball valve of white pipe into the water inlet of water purifier. Clamp both white and blue pipe on the flat surface. Make sure that the rejected water pipe is not placed at a level higher than the purifier. Otherwise, the rejected water may flow backward into the purifier. Avoid sharp bends in the pipe fittings. Do not bend or block the rejected water pipe. Put transparent tank as well as the tank tray on the mounting plate cover. Insert the power plug into the three pin socket. Clamp the electric cable on the wall. Turn on the water supply with the help of SS ball wall lever. The water supply remains off when the lever is perpendicular to the SS ball wall body. The water supply remains on when the lever is parallel to the SS ball wall body. Wait for 2 to 3 minutes after turning on the water supply to pre-soak the filters. Switch on the electric supply. UV lamp will take 3 seconds to glow to ensure that it is preheated and is working at its optimum level before it starts disinfecting water. SV and pump will start operating after 5 seconds of glowing of UV lamp to ensure that the idle water lying in the internal pipes and in the UV chamber is disinfected before being passed into the storage tank. To check the leakage, shift the mounting plate cover. Take out post carbon outlet pipe. Check and fix the leakage if any. After checking the leakage, place the mounting plate cover to its previous position. Let the purifier operate till the storage tanks get filled. The purifier shuts off automatically. This shows whether the float sensor is working properly or not. Switch off the purifier. Completely drain the storage tank into a container because the first few liters of water purified by the RO membrane may not be fit for drinking. Now, fix the mounting plate by screwing all the screws taken out earlier. Before leaving, clean the stains on the purifier with a moist cloth and mild soap or detergent. Installation is now complete.